4.4b Proportions and Applications Proportion Applications When solving applications, we must first identify what we are comparing. We clearly label the numerator and denominator of the proportion. We'll see this in example one. Example one, a 65 inch tall man wants to determine how tall a large tree is. He noticed at a certain time his shadow was 14 inches long. When he measured the shadow of the tree, he found it was 48 inches long. How tall is the tree? First, we need to identify what we are comparing. If we look into the, the question, we can see that we are comparing a man and a tree, but really we are also comparing shadows and their real height. Let's use height and shadow. You can put the height on top or the shadow on top. The important thing is to make sure that you keep the same thing in the numerator both times. So in this case, the height. And the same thing in the denominator both times, in this case, the shadow. We're also going to make the first for the man and the second fraction for the tree. We know that the man's height was 65 inches. We also know that the man's shadow was 14 inches. And this is going to be equal to the tree in which we do not know the height of the tree. That is what we are looking for. But we do know that the shadow of the tree is 48 inches. Now, remembering that we can clear fractions easily in proportions by multiplying by the combined or multiplied denominator of 14 times 48, we then can reduce the 14 in the first one and the 48 in the second. And when we multiply 48 times 65, we get 3,120 equals 14x. We then continue solving just like a regular equation and we divide both sides by 14. We now get x equals 222.857, which we will round to the tenths and we will say that it is 222.9 inches tall. And this is the tree. Example two asks, a manufacturer knows that out of every 300 parts the company ships, on average 18 are defective. If the company ships 5,800 parts in a day, how many will be defective? The two things that we are comparing is how many the company ships and how many that are defective. So let's write that to the side. Ships and defective. We know that the first comparison was that for every 300 parts it ships, 18 are defective. Let's put that as our first fraction. 300 ships, 18 are defective. We then compare this to what they do in one day. And in one day we know how many they ship, or 5,800. And what we want to know is how many are defective. Remember that we can clear fractions by multiplying by 18 times x on both sides. This allows us to reduce out the x's and then the 18's 
to get 300x equals 104,400. We then divide both sides by 300. And this gives us x equals 348 defective daily. And this is our final answer. Remember, when doing proportion applications, you must first identify what you are comparing, such as ships versus defective, or height versus shadow, and then clearly label these as numerators and denominators of the proportion.